welcome to another episode of Erogenicity. This is the channel to be if you want more passion, more sensuality and more aliveness in your dating and relationships. So if you're looking for a serious relationship, these are three red flags you need to watch out for when online dating. Number one, in the person's profile who you are looking at and thinking about possibly are they right to be in a relationship with, you need to be looking for things like casual relationship, right? So I'm on Facebook dating at the moment. I've been on there for a few months now. And there's people that are saying they want a serious relationship, but they're also putting in their profile they want a casual relationship. Now, if this happens, they are contradictory terms, right? It basically means they don't know what the heck they want and they're not bothered one way or the other. Right, so if you're looking for a serious, committed relationship, you don't want to be bothering with these types of people that are just looking for something casual. Because the fact that they're willing to accept casual in the first place means they're up for casual. Right, so that's not the type of person you want. You want people that are just looking for a serious, committed relationship, or chatting, or friendship, any of those type of things. But beware, anyone who says they're just looking for chatting or friendship is often married if they don't say they're looking for a relationship as well. They're often married or they're not staying in this country or they've got a partner already or they just don't want commitment. So you've got to look out for those things as well. Number two, they say they're looking for fun. Now looking for fun basically means they want casual sex. So if you're looking for a serious committed relationship, the last thing you want to be doing is getting into a relationship or pursuing or getting into a conversation and start feeling emotions for someone who's just looking for fun. They're just looking to have some humpy pumpy in the bed sheets or wherever. That's it. So you don't want to be going for this type of person. And number three red flag, again in their profile, this is something that's a lot more subtle that you've probably not thought about, right? Because you're probably used to people doing this. A lot of people do it and they think it's great in a profile, but actually it's really bad. So they say, I don't take life too seriously. When someone says that, it is a huge red flag if you are looking for a serious and committed relationship. Because if they don't take life too seriously, they're not going to take a relationship too seriously. Therefore, they're not going to be willing to change, develop and grow themselves and do the inner work as well as the outer work needed on themselves to have a long, sustainable, fulfilling, committed, loving relationship. So I hope you enjoyed those three flags to look out for if you're doing um, online dating in particular or in general, you know, if you are dating, doing any relationships type of stuff, if you're on forums or different dating websites, you know, do check out all this type of thing in their profile. You need to be looking for these three red flags and avoid like the plague and just go and move on to the next person because you don't want to waste your time on people that are not looking for the same thing as you. If you're looking for a serious committed relationship, you don't want people who are just looking for fun, who are looking for a casual relationship and who are not serious about life and uh, consequently a relationship, right? These are three red flags need to avoid like the plague right if you've enjoyed this video please 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 uh do subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment below because i'd love to know if you've seen any of these three red flags in your own dating and relationship life and what happened when you pursued someone who had one of these three red flags that you didn't know about so please, please, please comment down below because it helps the whole community. And if you want to summarise this video for me, for the community, please do summarise these three red flags uh, to look for in a relationship if you're looking for a serious and committed relationship. Don't forget to click that bell icon so you get notified of every time I go live or post a video like this one. And I'll see you soon on the next Erogenicity video. Take care.